Good morning. Here's how we're going to stop having imposter syndrome in 2025. Hi, my name is Nika. Na Nike. Alexa, play Alia's interlude, It Girl, because you are that girl. Stay there because they know I'm the I T G I R L. You know I am that girl. Shh, bitch, don't kiss and tell. <laughs> it Girl from AT. Of course, when we're moving to the next chapter of our life, it's going to always feel like we're a fraud. If we're upgrading to the next chapter of our life, we're always going to feel like, am I supposed to be here? Am I, did I sneak into the club and they're going to catch me soon? However, you're supposed to act like whatever version of you that's successful before you even get there. Now, of course, it's going to make you feel awkward, but it doesn't make you a liar. It doesn't make you a bad person. I love this quote by Nietzsche where he said, all great men and women are actors of their ideal self. One, you're going to learn how to talk back to that inner critic that tells you that you're not that girl. You're going to have to fight her, honey. Okay? You have to tell her, listen, girl, you're no longer needed in my life. That inner critic usually is like a wounded part of us from childhood for me it's because I was bullied severely as a child so whenever I walk into a room I have a chip on my shoulder thinking I don't belong there I'm gonna get bullied and that critic is why I must you know I have social anxiety but I've learned to tell her you have to name her I name her the worst name you can think of and I have to tell her girl I'm healed I don't need you I don't need to hear you talk <laughs> keep it quiet and you have to just learn to cancel her like an expired Netflix. You cannot listen to that inner critic because she's wounded. That person is no longer you now. You don't need that person. Number two, we're going to keep receipts of all our wins, even the small ones. Before you can have that confidence within yourself, it's okay to rely externally for a little bit. You know, if you had a viral video and you, you hit 10 million views on it, print it out and stick it somewhere on your wall so you can look at it. Like, I did that. Like, I did that. If you got straight A's at school one day, print it out. Put it on your wall. All your Even if you get positive comments under your videos, you shouldn't rely on that on long term. But while you're building something, print those comments out and let them be louder than the negative comments because you have to rely on something that tells you that facts don't lie. You are that girl. You can pull those numbers. You can achieve them. To sound delusional and you're going to create an alter ego that's a celebrity because even celebrities get nervous. Beyonce gets nervous. That's why she created Sasha Fierce. Rihanna gets nervous. That's why Robin Fenty is Rihanna when she's performing. So what I want you to do is get creative, find a version of yourself that's famous like super famous in your head that people are just like obsessed with it. like everyone eats out of your hand and name that girl and anytime you get nervous you pull that girl out and that girl does the job for you because she doesn't get nervous honey she is fabulous and everyone loves her and everyone adores her so find an alter ego you're gonna have to split personality for a little bit and use that alter ego to get through the moments that you need to show up in life where you don't feel as confident. Number four, we're going to fake it till we make it. Trust me, you're not the only one faking it. All successful people are winging it with the side of, I hope no one notices, okay? No one knows what they're doing, I promise. Not a single person, even CEOs. No one knows what they're doing. Everyone is just winging it. And let me tell you this, don't be afraid to ask questions. The good thing about a question is you can only ask once because once you ask once and you have an answer, you're no longer stupid. You, you don't get to be stupid over and over and over. You don't know something, ask. You look stupid one time, you nev you're never stupid again when it comes to that particular topic. So just fake it till you make it. Think of that as like wearing like an oversized sunglasses and everything is under control under that sunglasses by the time anyone finally sees your eyes you're already successful okay you have to fake it till you make it at least lift someone else up the antidote to imposter syndrome is community okay Imposter syndrome does not want you to have a community because if you have a community, you guys can lift each other up. You can compliment each other. You can see that we're all faking it till we make it. And you can share ideas and share, you know, information about each other to level up. You want to have a group of people who are just as hardworking, 
just as ambitious as you, who wants more out of life, who are also just giving it all their best to become somebody. And that way, you guys lift each other up. Okay, so find a community that works for you. I'm gonna finish off with a book. If you're still feeling like you still have imposter syndrome after all I just did for you, go pick up this book by Brene Brown. It's incredible, it's called The Gifts of Imperfection. When you're done reading that book, you're going to feel like you just slay the world, okay? It teaches you so much about self-worth. You guys know she's an incredible public speaker and an incredible author, so check it out. That's it. I believe in you, and I hope you always believe in yourself. Stay fabulous. I got up really early to film for you guys, so you better share this video because you guys know I am not a morning person at all.